Good morning. Yeah, I'm coming on kind of late today because I was taking a shower and then I thought, hey, why don't I clean the bathroom? And then I thought, hmm, why don't I go ahead and vacuum? Hmm, what? anyway, so one thing led to another and I was cleaning house. Well, now I'm finally ready for coffee. Or you can see it's rainbow time here. And oh, and look at this. Can you see? I, this is a shirt I designed for my daughter and her friends when they did a triathlon back, oh my gosh, it's 15 years ago. My daughter, Miriam, did the 20, I think it was a 24 mile bike ride. Um, anyway, so they wanted their team to be called Bare Naked Ladies. What can I tell you? They were in college. So I actually drew this shirt for them. And it says, he has made everything beautiful in its time, which is from, is that Ecclesiastes 311? <laughs> Anyhow, so, um, well, so I thought I was keeping this in the closet, you know, because this was special. And I've been keeping it in the closet for, you know, basically 15 years. And I thought, why don't I wear the thing? I mean, it's a little bit big, but yeah, why don't I wear it? I'm just going to stay at home today. It'll be comfy. I mean, what's going to happen? Someday I'll die and they'll go through my closet and find this and go, what's that? Or, oh, I remember that. What are we going to do with it? You know how it is <clears throat> when you have sort of sentimental things. It's hard to get rid of them, isn't it? So I thought, well, let me use it. Anyhow, so this morning I thought, you know, I haven't checked my Pixie in a while to see if it still has its factory settings. So I am going to go ahead. So it should be making 40 milliliters on an espresso. However, let me get it running. <clears throat> I realized that it probably makes more than that if I don't have a capsule in here, and I don't have a capsule, because some of the liquid stays in the capsule. And I'll show you. Like yesterday, I made some uh, raspberry, and when I was done, I turned it over and put it on this napkin, you know, and you can see that uh, more coffee obviously leaked out of it. So what do we have here? We've got 60 milliliters. Okay. So the question is, since this should be 40, but there's no capsule in there, let me try it with a capsule and see if it comes out to 40. Let me dump this out. Okay. I can't imagine that 20 milliliters remains in the capsule, but we'll see. Okay, so what kind should I make here? Um, what is this? You know what? This is um, the iced coconut stuff um, from, was it last summer? Let me, I'll go ahead and make that. And I can always add coconut syrup to it if it's not you know, enough. Okay, let's turn this around here and we'll watch it. Okay, so 40 milliliters is here. So we're gonna have to let it sit a little bit to let the crema kind of go back. Oh, look at that. <gasps> It's exactly 40 milliliters and there's 10 milliliters of crema. Here, can I put this closer? Can you see that? Look at that. Oh my goodness. I was really concerned. I was thinking, oh no. You know, it's uh, going to be not the right amount, but okay. So, ah, that's hot. All right, so I've turned this over on, ah, <laughs> on a napkin. 
and and you can see there's stuff coming out of it so yeah I guess let me put this down so my machine is working properly oh I'm so glad to know um, now a while back several months ago when I I did this it was not working properly we had had some electrical storms and the power had gone on and off and I think what happened is my pixie somehow I don't know maybe there was a power surge or something and it got reprogrammed or lost its programming or something so um, when I checked it it was making way too much it was making I don't know more like uh, maybe 80 milliliters which is twice what it should. So um, I reset the factor to re reset to factory settings, which is real easy to do. I don't remember how you do it right now. I've got a video on it, but I mean, you just, it's much simpler than like descaling a Virtuo or something like that. <laughs> Anyhow, so yeah, um, I reset it and I guess it's held its settings. Let me taste this now. Mm, smells nice. This is supposed to be um, iced. You know what I think I'm going to do? Oh, hey, wait. Let me get the milk. Okay. I'm just getting... This is 30 calorie per cup almond breeze almond milk. This usually shakes up pretty easily, but I've noticed there are some almond milks that if you don't really give them a good shake, once you get down to the bottom of the container, you'll see there's some of the, you know, solids left that you can shake up. Okay, since this is supposed to be iced, I'm going to put in, how much did I put in? <laughs> I put in about 80 milliliters. So I have, hang on, let me put this in the fridge. I've got 40 milliliters of espresso and 80 milliliters of milk. Oh, this is tasty. I like this. You know what? I'm going to put an ice cube in here and I think it'll be perfect. Well, so there you have it. It's good to check your machine and, you know, every once in a while to make sure it's performing properly. You know, sometimes people say, oh, all of a sudden my machine is whatever. It's not producing the kind of coffee or the temperature or whatever that it used to or that it should. Go ahead and check and see if it's putting out the right amount of water. Start there. And then, you know, you can always reset it to the original factory settings and see if maybe it performs better. Well, listen, have a good day. I'm going to enjoy the rainbows. Let me give them one more swing here. Oh, it's so cheerful. I love that. Okay, I'll talk to you later.